Today, we will learn about how the power generated by the engine is able to drive the helicopter's rotors. So let's take a look at what's going on. The engine in an R22 is running and somehow the power from the engine is spinning the rotors. If you take a look at an R22, you may have noticed that the engine is mounted backwards compared to an airplane. However, instead of a propeller spinning on the nose, in the case of the R22, we are spinning the lower sheave. Now we're also spinning a scroll fan, which you don't need to worry about for now, but we will discuss that in later lessons. So when the lower sheave rotates, it's able to turn this upper sheave via these very tight belts. If you've had your first flight lesson in an R22 already, you may be familiar with the fact that these belts are the ones that get tightened when you engage the clutch switch. Now that the upper sheave is rotating, it's able to drive the clutch and tail rotor drive shaft. In order for the spinning drive shaft to rotate, the rotor blades, it, it must first change both axis of rotation and rotations per minute, or RPMs. This can be accomplished with gearboxes. There is a main rotor gearbox and a tail rotor gearbox. In the case of the main rotor gearbox, the RPMs are slowed down in addition to a change in axis of rotation. How does the gearbox do this? If we take a look inside the gearbox, it contains spiral bevel gears to accomplish this task. There is an 11 to 47 reduction in speed with these gears for the main rotor system. This then allows the main rotor drive shaft to rotate and thus rotate the main rotor blades. Similarly, the tail rotor gearbox also requires an access, a change in axis of rotation as well as a change in RPMs. In the case of the tail rotor, its gearbox also contains spiral bevel gears. However, the tail rotor's RPMs are increased by a factor of 1.5. So there you go, a simple explanation as to how the helicopter's rotors are able to use the power from the engine to rotate. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I plan to continue these lessons to include additional private pilot level ground and flight instruction, including flight lessons here in beautiful Hawaii. We've got some pretty cool views here in Hawaii. One of my favorite things to show people is full circle rainbows. So here's a beautiful shot I took of a full circle rainbow to go along with today's lesson. And no, this isn't photoshopped. All rainbows actually look like circles when the ground isn't in the way. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give me a like and subscribe to my channel.